So a while back, and many of you may remember this, Elon Musk said he would buy Twitter. A long story short, he actually bought Twitter. A lot of people thought it was a joke. I thought it was a joke. I was laughing about it and said, oh yeah, sure, he's going to buy Twitter. He's going to get into that mess, right? He did it. Now, why do I bring this up sometime after that he's bought Twitter? Simple. He said he would acquire Disney. All right, so over here at thatparkplace.com, Elon Musk and Nelson Pelson embrace publicly just days ahead of Disney's next earnings call. Musk hints he might acquire Disney. Bob Iger might want to order more ocular medication, the richest man on the world who had choice words for the Disney CEO, we all remember them, at a New York Times summit was just publicly embracing the man waging a proxy war for control of the Walt Disney Company. So I am making sure that all of my content is over on the Rumble side of things. You can find me under Clifton 3D just as you can find me over here. Now, that being said, I am still here on YouTube. YouTube is where I get the most views, where I have the most reach if my videos, you know, have that reach and, and YouTube allows it. So that is why I'm not going to be uttering the words, the exact words that Elon Musk said. I think we all remember them. Go F yourselves. And then followed up by, oh, hello, Bob. Meanwhile, Nelson Pelse is the largest private shareholder of Disney stock, as well as the head of Trion, an activist investment fund looking to shore up two board seats on the Disney directorship. That is in contrast to what Disney officially wants, as the board has not recommended Trion's proposed board members, who will be up for ballot vote come April. Now, Trion wants both Nelson Pelse and former Disney chief financial officer Jay Rosulo on the board, and Trion has not been subdued with their criticisms of the current, current board, as well as current Disney management. Why the bomber jacket? I just, honestly, I just pulled this out of my closet, so... It looks really cool, like a pilot. Thanks, so I'm a pilot. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Looking cool. So what brings you to the Lola carpet? I'm just, uh, just here with friends, you know, thinking about companies to acquire. Whoa! Like Fab TV? Maybe you can acquire Fab TV, okay. okay. I mean, it honestly looks like he might be dropping some bombs on Disney. Let's hope so. And this here is, of course, the picture that is going around of the embrace of the two men who want a change in Disney. This public appearance of the two most prominent men wishing for a change at Disney comes just six days after Musk had called for leadership change at Disney. The CEO of SpaceX and Tesla said current leadership of the company was destroying it. Said statement seemed to be prompted by a new disclaimer Disney has placed on the animated classic Aristocats, which now maligns the movie as featuring inappropriate content by today's standards. Of course it does. There are currently many pieces of classic Disney content which have these disclaimers forced upon viewers prior to enjoying the movie. It is as if Disney hates its own legacy. And it does. It's not as if. It definitely hates its own legacy. Everything that Walt built up, everything that was good through the 80s and 90s, that kids my age loved growing up, and you could take, you know, your kids to movies like this without having to worry one bit. You could take a date. To a Disney film. Nowadays, you don't know what you're going to get. Is there going to be another trans woman in there? Is there going to be bad message messaging telling you that guys, straight white male, are horrible? Possibly. 
you can get all that stuff in Disney nowadays. But, oh boy, if you go back to the classics, to the good stuff, stuff that people like and enjoyed, oh, you're going to get that disclaimer. I'm surprised that a lot of these films haven't just been completely removed. And the only way for you to catch them is if you own them physically. It has yet to be seen if Elon Musk will buy shares of Disney or help Nelson Peltz acquire more for his voting power. If Musk were to help, he has such deep levels of resources that he could even potentially help engineer a hostile takeover of the company. Now, there has been a speculation about what Elon Musk could do, him going out after Bob Iger, after what the Disney company is doing, telling people that Walt Disney would be turning in his grave at what Bob Iger and the Disney company has done to his company. There has been speculations, there has been rumors that he might be interested, that he might be throwing his weight into the ring. That being said, I don't think, even despite his personal net worth being higher than Disney's, that he would outright buy the Disney company. But teaming up with Nelson Pels is very possible. And I think that if he put his money into some shares or backed Nelson Pels up in his endeavors, I think he could gather a whole lot of people to come in and join in to actually try to change the Disney company for the good. Look, I don't think that Elon Musk has the time or the nerve to even, you know, consider running Disney. Nelson Peltz, maybe. I could see that. Or I could see them, you know, choosing someone that they would trust to run the company now. You know, if you've seen the people that Elon Musk has chosen for Twitter, yeah, it might be a little bit questionable, but look, you can make this into some kind of a political thing, but it's not. Despite whatever Disney is doing, they are not making money. Their films are flopping. Not even the people they are trying to pander to come and watch their movies because it's shit. And that's the truth. I think if Elon Musk, Nelson, Nelson Pels, and anyone else coming in to try to save Disney, basically, to make stuff that people will actually go to the theaters and watch, that people will actually come and subscribe to Disney Plus to be like, yes, we want this content. This is awesome stuff. It's not going to be some far right or uh, uh, changing of the guard type of issue. It's going to be normal stuff, which is good because that's the stuff that I want. I hope that's the stuff that you want. If we get this, it might actually be a win. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below what you think. Do you think this is just, you know, a friendly embrace of two friends at the premiere of Lola? No idea what it's about. No idea. But it to me, it definitely seems like there's something more going on. Do I know for a fact? No, I don't. But let me know down in the comments below what you think. Would you want Elon Musk to team up with Nelson Pels and actually turn the Walt Disney Company around? Or are you like, no, Elon, stay away from this. We don't want you here. You know, we like what Disney's doing now. And hey, if that's if that's your your style. Who am I to say that that, you know. Whatever, I don't think that Disney is going to be lasting much longer if that is their mentality. But hey, you know, everyone likes different things. That's for a fact. But also, it might give more people an opportunity to rise up from the ashes of Disney. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button, consider subscribing, and hit the bell for notifications. And I, you know, you have to keep on checking that sometimes because I've had it so many times lately that I've subscribed, hit the bell for notifications to a channel and I come back two, three days later and I'm no longer subscribed.
What the hell, YouTube? I'm looking at you. Now, before I let you go, I know I have been missing in action again. I've been struggling. Don't worry, everything's fine. I'm back to making videos. I'm catching up. I did do a lot of live streams. If you haven't checked them out, go check out Legion Talk, then Legion Teaches History. I'm over on there. We're doing a show. And definitely check this channel out on Mondays. Because I do a live stream with some pretty awesome guests. There's Anna Gamesland on here. I've got Brandon the Anime Guy who's sometimes here when he can make it. Same for Ronin66. Great people. Go check them out if you haven't already and come back. And, you know, we might have some special guests on sometime. So stay tuned for more. I'm looking forward to how things are shaping up. Take care now. And remember, I'm your Huckleberry. Thank <laughs> you.